So by this substitution, my integral will become that from minus L, that from minus 1 to plus 1 dx 1 minus x square 1 minus x square to the power L will be equal to integral and now when cos is minus 1 then we are having pi here and from pi to 0 and I will write for dx minus sine theta d theta and for 1 minus x square I will write 1 minus cos square theta and to the power L. So we are having the integral in this form and now I can further simplify this one that this is equal minus here so minus I can adjust is this is an odd integral so if I change the limits from 0 to pi then minus will be introduced that minus and this minus will actually cancel each other and I can write that from 0 to pi and this is sine theta d theta now and I can write that 1 minus cos square theta is equal to sine square theta so this will be equal to sine square so it will become sine 2 well of theta and this is sine theta d theta so my integral becomes that from 0 to pi and sine theta so this will become 2L plus 1 and d theta and this I call is IL so this integral I suppose is equal to IL now I will have to solve this integral and this integral I can write this implies that I L is equal 0 to pi and I can write this is sine of sine theta to the power 2L and sine theta d theta. So now I can solve this thing with the help of integration by parts. If I take this one is the first function. So this is the first function and this one is the second function. So I can write that I L is equal first function sine theta 2L then integration of the second function. So it will be integration from 0 to pi and sine theta d theta minus whole integration from 0 to pi derivative of the first function. So derivative of the first function will be 2L then sine theta 2L minus 1 and then derivative of this one will become cos theta. So we have derivative of the first function into integration of the second function from 0 to pi and integration of the second function and then this whole integration will close up with d theta. Now this one is equal the IL is equal 
sin 2 theta. Now here, this is sin theta and I can, this is a naught function. So if I write this as minus sine, then another minus will be here with this one. So minus into minus. This minus I compensate by putting the limits from pi to zero and then it will be minus sine theta. Minus sine theta I can, the derivative of minus sine theta is actually the cos theta. So the cos theta derivative is minus sine theta and I can write this one is sine theta to the power 2L and this will become cos theta but the limits will be from pi to 0 and this will become minus minus it will be adjusted so from 0 to 1 1 minus 1 and it will become okay from pi to 0 then we will have minus here and 2L I can move out then integral from 0 to pi and this will be sine theta to the power 2L minus 1 and 1 cos theta from here and 1 cos theta from here will get us because we are not supposed to put limits here because limits are put here so only this one so one cos theta from here another cos theta from here but with a minus sign and that minus sign will make this one as positive and we will have cos square theta d theta so now further we can solve this one the first term this is going to zero and we are left with 2L from 0 to pi and this one will be cos square theta I can write is 1 minus sine square theta and then sine theta to the power 2L minus 1 now this is d theta do multiply them so when I will multiply them I will get 2L into integral from 0 to pi sine theta to the power 2L minus 1 then minus and 2L again from 0 to pi when sine 2 theta will multiply with this so 2L minus 1 plus 2 plus 2 minus 1 plus 1 so this will be sine theta 2L plus 1 day theta now this is equal to IL now IL from here will become equal IL 2L and now this one 2L and this one I will have to convert to the form of IL. Now if I see here that the IL was 2L plus 1 and here we have 2L minus 1. So if I replace if I replace L with L minus 1, then I will have 2 and for L, L minus 1, minus 1. So I will have this thing equal to minus 2 L and if I replace the L with L minus 1 then I will get 2L and because I have defined I L equal to L plus 1 so if I replace this uh, let me write this one that 
if I replace L with L minus 1, then what I will have? So let me do this thing that that I L that I L minus 1 will become equal 0 to pi and sine of theta. For L I write L minus 1 so it will be 2 L minus 2 plus 1. 2 L minus 2 plus 1 and then d theta. So this thing will come out to be equal to 2 L minus 1. So it means when this is 2 L minus 1 it with d theta as well. So here is d theta. So I can write that this thing is equal this thing I can write is I L minus 1. So this will be I L minus 1 then minus 2 L and this thing is equal to I L. So this will be I L. Now I can write if I move this I L on this side then it will be 1 plus 2 L and I L and this is equal to 2L, 2L, I, L minus 1. This implies that I, L from here, because I wanted to find I, L, is equal to 2L divided by 2L plus 1, I, L minus 1. So, I have proved this thing. Now, when n is equal to 1, when n is equal to 1, then I will have 2 divided by 2 plus 1, 2 by 3, and this will become I naught. So, what about I naught value? If I know I naught, from I0 I will get I1, then from I1 I will get I2 and so on. So I want to find out the value of I0. So the value of I0 I will have to find from here is I know that IL is equal 0 to pi and sine theta 2L plus 1 d theta. Now what about I naught? I naught will be when n is equal to 0. So this will become 0 and this will be from 0 to pi and sine theta d theta. And now I know what is this. This will be minus cos theta and cos pi will become minus minus cos 0 minus 1 so minus 2 and minus minus will become plus so we will have this thing equal to 2. So the value of I naught is actually equal to 2 and from now I can write that what about I naught is equal to to 2. What about I1? I1 will be equal to 2 into 1, 2. 2 into 1, 2 plus 1, 3. And I not 1 minus 1. So this is 2. What about, what about I2? So I2 is equal from here will be equal to n is equal to 2. So 4 divided by 4 into 1 plus 1 4 by 5 and this will become 2 minus 1 so i1 and this is equal 4 over 5 i1 i can write is 2 over 3 2. Similarly I can write I3 
and I3 will be from here 2 into 3 will be equal to 6 and this will become 7 and this is equal to I2 and I2 is equal to 4 6 by 7 so 4 by 5 2 by 3 2 and so on if I look at these expressions, then these expression sounds like double factorial and I know that when we are having 0, 2, 4, 8 and so on factorial, then I can write that this is equal to n double factorial where n is even. While if I will have 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on, then this will also be equal to n double factorial, but n will be odd. In this case, we will have n is even. In this case, we will have n is odd. So I can write that the terms, the 